Hello everyone, this is uh, Mr. Fuller, uh, here to help you all with a little bit of more math. Um, today what we're going to look at is the surface area of the different kind of prisms. So we're looking at a rectangular prism, a right triangular prism, as well as a cylinder. Um, so the first thing what we're going to start off with here is a rectangular prism, um, in the example one here. Um, when we do questions um, for this particular example, um, I've already drawn the net on the bottom, or I've got a picture of the net anyways, um, to make it a little bit easier as to think of how it happens. Um, when we're talking about surface area of a rectangular prism, what we want to do is add up all the different sides of our box. Um, so let's get started here. So the first thing we want to do is, uh, to make it a little bit easier, let's, uh, let's transfer our lengths of the box onto our net. Um, so for the first one, uh, we'll start off with our blue squares, because what we've noticed is that the, the front and the back of our rectangular prism are actually going to be the same. So if we can uh, draw this on here, we know that this side right here, and this side, and this side, and this side, and for even that fact, this side, are all going to be the same length. Those are all going to be... 10 centimeters. Okay, perfect. The next thing that we want to notice, if we go to the sides, the sides are the exact same too. Um, those are actually our orange squares. So we know that one side it is 5 centimeters and the other side it is going to be 2 centimeters. And we notice that this is going to be 2 centimeters, this is going to be 2 centimeters, this is going to be 2 centimeters, which makes this 5 this 5 and this 5. Um, the next thing that we want to notice is that the top and the bottom are going to be the same as well. Um, so if we go to the, on the yellow one, the yellow one is the only one we don't know, but if we look on the uh, first diagram we know that that is 2 centimeters and that is 2 centimeters. Okay, so we're pretty much ready to start here. Um, we know from, from previous math that area of a square is going to be length times width. Um, for the purpose of this, we know that the blue squares are the same, the yellow squares are the same, and the orange squares are the same. So we don't actually have to add those up separately. We can just times it by two or add them together at the very end. We don't have to do the calculations every time. Um, so let's start off with the blue one. So the blue one, we know that area is equal to length times width, which is equal to 10 centimeters times by, oh, and we didn't mark it, but we know that it's going to be 5 centimeters we look at our original drawing. Um, so 10 times 5, that's going to equal 50 centimeters squared. Okay, perfect. That one's done. Um, next one let's look at, let's look at our orange pockets. So that same formula is going to get us places. So area is equal to length times width, which is equal to 5 centimeters times 2 centimeters. And that's equal to 10 centimeters squared, right? Area is always measured in, in centimeters squared or something, some unit squared. Um, and the last one, but not least, our yellow squares, those are going to be, again, same formula, area is equal to length times width. Our length is going to be 10 centimeters. Our width is going to be 2 centimeters to get our area to be 20 centimeters squared. Okay, perfect. The next thing that we got to look at here is like I said before, we have two blue squares, which means that we're going to have this times two, as well as there's two orange squares, which means that this is times two, and similarly we have two yellow squares, which means that this is times two. So if we want to add them up, we can add them up twice or we can times them by two, it doesn't really matter. Um, since I showed you times by two, I'll show you the other way of adding them up. So our total area, total area is equal to, uh, I'm running out of room here so I'll put it underneath. We need two blues, which is 50 centimeters plus 50 centimeters. Oh, and I forgot the square, don't forget that. We have two reds, which is plus 10 centimeters squared, plus 10 centimeters squared. And we have our last but not least our orange or our yellow squares, which is 20 centimeters squared plus 20 centimeters squared. So if we add this all up, we get a total of 50 plus 50 is 100, 
plus 10, 110, plus 10 is 120, plus 20 is 140, plus 20 it is 160 centimeters squared. So our total area of this box is 160 centimeters squared. I'll give you a second to look at that, then we'll go on to our next example. Okay, our next example, we're going to look at the surface area of a right triangular prism. Okay, so this is very, very similar to a rectangular prism. Um, so again, first things first, we're going to start off with uh, labeling our lengths on onto our net from our original picture. Um, so we'll do that. So our long length is going to be 15, and this time we're in meters. So that's going to be 15 meters. And which makes that 15 meters, which makes that 15 meters, which makes that 15 meters. Okay, perfect. So the bottom of our base is going to be 8 centimeters, or 8 meters, sorry. So that's going to be 8 meters, and similarly down here is going to be 8 meters as well. Um, and then our height of the triangle is going to be 3 centimeters. So this height right here is going to be 3 meters. And we're only missing one more dimension, which is our 5, which I have centimeters there, but we're going to scratch that out and put meters to make it a little bit uh, more realistic. So, which makes this 5 meters, and that 5 meters, that 5 meters, that 5 meters. Okay, perfect. So now we're ready to solve for the, the total surface area. So again, what we want to do to make it easier on ourselves is we're going to figure out the total area or the total surface area, or the area, surface area of the different parts of the net, and then add it all together. So we can notice that this square is the same as this square, as well as this triangle is the same as this triangle. Okay, so since we've already done the squares, we can go ahead, let's do those first. So um, let's do the middle square first, there's only one of those, but let's do that. So area of a square is equal to length times width, this length is going to be 15 meters, and our width is going to be 8 meters. So let's just quickly put that in our calculator. So 15 times 8 is equal to 120 meters squared. Um, next one let's look at, let's look at our other two rectangles here, um, the ones that are colored in red. So we'll do figure out the area for those as well. So area again is equal to length times width which is also equal to 15 meters times by, in this case, it's now 5 meters, which is going to give us a total of 75 meters squared. Okay, so here's where the difference between the rectangular prism and the right rectangular or triangular prism is the difference. Um, now, instead of rectangles, we have a couple triangles. So the only difference between a triangle and a rectangle is that we divide the area by two. Um, the same formula from rectangular or rectangle to a triangle, except you divide it by two. So in this case, we take our area is base times height, and that's going to be equal to our base is 8 meters, and our height is a whopping 3 meters. So if we do that, and this is all this is all divided by 2. So we'll keep our brackets there, divided by 2. So 8 times 3 is equal to 24. So 24 meters squared divided by 2, and that's going to be equal to 12 meters squared. Okay, so similar to the... Um, rectangular prism, we have two blue, two red. So we got to make sure that we add two red and two blue when we do the total here. So we can add up the total here. So we have total area is equal to 120 meters squared. And we only have one middle one, so we only need to do that once. Two reds, which is 75 meters squared plus 75 meters squared, 
and then two blues, which is 12 meters squared plus 12 meters squared. So if we add this all up, I'll just quickly do this in the calculator so I don't make mistakes. Um, 120 plus 75 plus 75 plus 12 plus 12. We get a grand total of 294 meters squared as our final answer. So I'll give you a second to look at that as well. Um, maybe even a compare it to your example you have in a textbook or a question you might have. Okay, and last but not least, we're going to figure out our surface area of a cylinder. Okay, so this is just a little bit different because we're going to use um, some pie in this and not the kind you eat. Um, so in our example here, we have a cylinder with a diameter of 5 centimeters and a height of 16 centimeters. Again, I've drawn the net here for you, so um, again, we will transfer our distances for that. So um, our diameter is a solid 5 centimeters, which makes the diameter of the circle a solid 5 centimeters. Um, the next is our height. So our height is going to be actually what's wrapped right here. So this is a height of 16 centimeters. So the next thing we have to think about is, well, they don't give us the total wrap around the, the circle there. Um, we have to figure that out. So we know from grade 7 that um, pi times our diameter is going to equal that circumference. Okay, so um, the circumference of the circle is going to equal the same. Oh, I'll draw here so you can see. The circumference of this circle right here is going to be the exact same as this distance right here because it wraps around that circle. So if we can do the little bit of math right there, we know that circumference is equal to pi times the diameter. So if we put that in there, pi times 5 centimeters, and let's put this into our uh, calculator here. There should be a button on all your calculators to put this in. If not, you can use 3.41 as well to get a very close number and it would get you the same answer. So our, I get an answer as 15.7 centimeters. So we can go ahead and put that in here. So that distance is going to be 15.7 centimeters, which is going to be the same as over here. Okay, so the next step, just like before, is we're going to add up the entire different pieces of our cylinder. So the first one, we have a rectangle again. We all know how to do that, so we'll do that right away. So area is equal to length times width, which is equal to 16 centimeters times by 15.7 centimeters. So we'll put that in our calculators and we get a total answer of 251.3. We can go to one decimal here. It's probably is sufficient enough for this question. And remembering that it's going to be area again, so it's centimeters squared. Okay, perfect. So now here's where it gets a little bit trickier. So now we need the area of our circles. We know that both circles are the same, so we can add them up twice at the end, so we can do that. Um, if you remember our formula now for a circle, area for a circle is equal to pi r squared. Okay, so you might be saying, well, how do we get an r when we only have diameter? Well, r is just half the diameter, which is going to be 2.5 centimeters, 5 divided by 2. So we can put that in there now. So area is equal to pi times 2.5 centimeters all squared. So let's do that. Remembering when you're putting in this calculator, you always want to put the squared in first. So you go 2.5 squared, which is going to be equal to 6.25 centimeters squared. Perfect. So now we can times our 6.25 times our pi to get a total answer of 
nineteen point six centimeters squared. And now we're ready to add up our total. So we can go ahead and do that. Our total, if I can squeeze it in somewhere, let's squeeze it in right here. Total area. And that's going to be equal to just adding up the sums, but we have two of the blue ones here because we have two circles. So we have 251.6 or 3 centimeters squared plus 19.6 centimeters squared plus another circle, 19.6 centimeters squared to get a total of, we're in another room again, just add this all up, 251.3 plus 19.6 plus 19.6 is equal to a solid 290.6 centimeters squared as our final answer. Okay, so hopefully this helped you out. Um, if it didn't, make sure you keep practicing, and we'll talk to you again.